Welcome back to another episode of Amnesia the Dark Descent. We're getting ready to progress here. Not sure why that music's kind of going in and out a little bit. The traitor did not know did not know what to think of the brass bull as he was forced to enter it. Only when the heat of fire began to scorch his skin and cook his flesh did he realize it was to be his tomb. His screams of pain echoed inside the brass chamber and traveled through the complex instrument which was the bull's head. Outside the men could hear the brazen bull below. Alright, welcome back after a little short delay there. Let's see, we were looking at this. This thing we to get in it or something. I guess not. What ifs? It ain't nothing. Whoa. Shit. This fell. Can I not get up there? Let's see. that. Thank you, video game. I'm just gonna go straight this time. Open. Close. The wheel is good for keeping your victim still during the procedure. They can be bound around the circumference or simply stretched across, tying limbs to the spokes and rim. All tools are by this point useful, and you may administer the torture in any way you like. But the forte of the wheel is the gaps. When you have decided that the victim shall die, you can smash their limbs with a hammer, making them fold in between the frame. Oh, that's lovely. But they'll die. Too quickly, I mean. No, don't worry. The human body is much more resilient. They can survive for days until they finally succumb. I thought the door was open for a second there. Now the reading, the murderer's limbs were tied to the spokes of the wheel. They turned the wheel slowly, but with the intents of the rope secured around his legs, stretched and cracked the bone. He 
no longer had the strength to scream. The two men looked at each other knowingly and took a hammer and struck the victim's chest in a final act of mercy. Ain't that lovely? Oh, my sanity is pretty bad. Like, I don't even have any sanity potion. It's lovely. What is this? What is that? Piece of orb. Maybe there is a piece of orb in the other torture place. Perhaps. I don't know. I don't know. But I'm gonna go out, I think. My sanity just. My sanity was just down a whole bunch. It's still down a whole bunch. Where? Where? I don't hear him. I don't see him. Shit. Well, I'm gonna die. Oh, let's do this zigzag. Damn it! I don't. I know they're. Jeez. <sighs> Just out of the. Yes, I do. Okay. Down this way. Probably gonna die a whole bunch. Well, I haven't been in here. <laughs> That's for sure. Hold on. There's a... Uh, a dungeon. Pick it up. There we go. <gasps> monster coming out of it. I was like, I'm doomed. <laughs> God, that was... I knew something bad was going to happen there. Jeez. I think I'm alright. I'm okay. Alright, I think I have to read this. Whew. The forger stood absolutely still. The casket had been closed, but a faint light made its way inside. A, my, a myriad of spikes pointed at him, glit tearing as they waited for his body to s slip just for a moment. His knee jerked and he felt blood trickle down his leg. In a pain, his head fell slightly forward. It took him a while to realize his eyes had ruptured and begun to leak. I knew something bad was going to come of that. Alrighty. Oh, am 
find me. 